YouTube friends. Today I'm here with a Samsung solid state hard drive. This is the 840 Pro. It's 120 gigabytes of solid state memory storage. Um, this is different than a hard drive or hard disk drive that I have installed in this laptop and you might have installed in your computer. I'm going to show you how to replace the hard disk drive, mechanical hard disk drive that you have in your computer with a solid state drive. What this will do is this will improve your computer's performance. I have a benchmark program here that you can try on your computer to see what your read write speed is. This is called Crystal Disk Mark 6.0.1. Crystal Disk Mark is a free program. You can Google that um, and download this benchmarking program. It'll tell you your read write speed. So right now, in a sequential read, it's uh, 65.9 megabytes per second, and it's writing at 63.5 megabytes a second. With a solid state drive, I expect to have over 200 megabytes a second. This will also change how long it takes your computer to start up and shut down. Um, this will not change your processing speed or uh, necessarily improve uh, what kind of gameplay you can get out of a computer, but it will change your startup and shutdown speeds and uh, how long it takes to save things or to copy things um, to other types of disks. Um, so to do this, we're going to have to take the computer apart. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here we are. Um, the laptop is turned off, so we want to disconnect the power um, and uh, take the battery out because we don't want to have any uh, mistakes with power. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I sometimes don't take the turn the power off entirely. So we'll take the battery out, and then we'll take our handy dandy mini screwdriver here. Uh, this one's for working on glasses, but they make special ones for, uh, and I, it looks like I already got the screws out. They make special ones for working on computers too. Um, I already took the screws out or loosened them, so we're gonna just go ahead and pull this open. Oh geez, did I break it? No, I did not break it. All right, um, here's the RAM, here's the old hard drive, here's the um, wireless card, that's your Wi-Fi. And let's see what we have here. This is actually the first time I'm looking at this. Um, we have, this is where it plugs in. And we're gonna pop this out. Oh, and look at that, it's just one wire. And here's the old one, it's a Seagate. Um, SATA disk drive, 320 gigabytes. This is a little bit of a downgrade in size because I'm going to be um, installing a smaller hard drive, but it's an upgrade um, because it'll be a lot faster now. I paid about $79. Oh, that was super easy, guys. Look at that. What is, and what is this film? I guess that's just protecting it. I paid $79 um, for this Samsung drive. That's about what it goes for on the internet. Um, I bought this at a local computer shop. And so um, this would plug in like this, but you might be wondering, how is this gonna work without an operating system on it? Well, that's a good question, it won't. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to clone the old one onto the new one, and I'm gonna show you how to do that next. But to do that, we're gonna need another computer with some cloning software I'm gonna show you. So uh, why don't we go to my other workstation? Hi, and so this is Acronis True Image 2017. This is hard drive uh, utility software uh, specifically designed for cloning uh, a, a hard drive from one to another. Now, what I have here is I have SATA power um, hooked up to both of them um, off of my motherboard. And yes, the power is plugged in this time, so um, the computer's off, but it does have power. And what I'm doing is I'm plugging these SATA cords uh, into my PCI SATA 3 port. Resistance is futile. And then we're going to turn the computer on. Uh, and then we're going to fire up Acronis True, True Image. Um, yeah, that's where they're plugged in. This is what we have going on here. Um, the two, uh, both connected to power and SATA. If they were identical, um, say they had the same uh, amount of storage, we might have some issues trying to identify them, 
but here we know that this is a 360 gigabyte and this is a 128 it will also be empty so that will show up in Windows and I'll be able to identify them there so let's go ahead and fire this up hopefully it won't make too much noise all right so we're back um, with the discs both plugged in to my uh, my workstation PC um, here's a folder that I use for keeping track of my benchmarking software and right now I'm running a benchmark on both of the hard drives it's the old one from the laptop the HHD or HDD hard disk drive HDD and this is the SSD the solid state drive I'm a little disappointed with this number right here but it may be that the driver isn't installed yet and uh, and, and it's not giving us the best possible performance so I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, and, and we're gonna we're gonna move forward with our uh, our cloning here um, I'm gonna give it one more shot with the um, benchmark but then I'm gonna go back and we're gonna use partition tools here this is the um, free version that you might try I haven't tested it so I don't know how it works, but Mini Tool Partition Wizard is a open source uh, program. It works great for um, formatting your hard disks to different uh, formatting uh, requirements if you're trying to do other things besides uh, install uh, Windows operating system. Okay, well, this is a little bit better. We're up to 200. That's still not what we're expecting from this uh, solid state hard drive. Some people claim they're getting speeds of 500 megabytes a second on it, but let's go ahead and open um, Acronis. Um, and we're going to go to Clone Disk. There are other tools and it has quite a few features, um, but we're just going to clone the disk here. And we're going to go to Manual because we're going to have to uh, configure this uh, clone. And we're going to say that we're going to start on this one which we know is the um, one that came out of my laptop with um, 320 gigabytes now you'll see a little less because it does have um, a reserve uh, for uh, backups and whatnot and we're gonna start with that that's the source disk we're gonna clone that to the destination disk which it'll show us in a second And now we have our uh, setup here. We have our source disk, which is now grayed out, and we're looking for a destination disk. This is 128 uh, gigabyte Samsung um, 840 Pro. Of course, there's a little bit missing. It's always like that um, for extra space. I'm not sure why memory never gives you exactly what it says. Um, it has it for its maximum potential, but it apparently needs uh, some extra stuff just to function so we select that we say OK go ahead and the destination drive you have chosen contains some partitions that could contain useful data well we know it doesn't really I just formatted it a few seconds ago uh, so it has some partitions and that's why it's missing a little bit um, but it doesn't have any data on it. it's brand new so uh, OK or it was used but whatever it's been wiped uh, OK confirm this will delete whatever's on your disk so go ahead and say OK and we're going to wait for this again and uh, we'll be back when it's finished. We have transport. And there now that's done. We're going to be asked now what kind of move method we want. Uh, choose the data moving method from the old to the new hard drive. Uh, there's proportional, there's as is, and there's manual. Again we want manual because there's that uh, recovery partition and so we don't want to make that proportional and shrink it too small. Um, if you're going from a small drive to a larger drive, you don't want to expand it too big. So you do manual. That usually gets you what you want uh, right from the beginning, which is the maximum space for your operating system and the proper size for your uh, recovery partition. And we'll be back in a second when that's done. And here we are. We can see um, the system reserved partition. Um, and uh, what we're calling uh, uh, the K drive here, but that's the unlabeled partition. So um, 
we like this. This is a, a good setup for us. This is only 100 megabytes um, that's going to the partition. That sounds good. The rest is going uh, for the operating system. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And it's warning me that once uh, this happens, I won't be able to undo it. Uh, the disk layout will remain MBR. The selected disk will be restored as is. Disk layout will remain MBR. I don't know what that means, but I've never had any problem with this before. So here the cloning is in effect. Uh, when we're done, we'll have two identical hard drives with the same exact operating systems on them. Transfer complete. And it looks like we're done. The disk has been successfully cloned. Uh, that really only took about uh, 30 minutes. I know it's at different times, an hour and whatnot, um, but that wasn't bad at all. We have a cloned disk, so we're ready to bring it back to the laptop. So let's go. So now that we have uh, successfully cloned, or at least we hope, uh, successfully cloned this uh, the operating system onto the solid state drive, we'll put it back in to the laptop. Uh, here's our SATA power and SATA information uh, cord. Oh geez. And maybe it goes this way. No, nope, it goes that way. There we go. Put the uh, rubber thing back on. This is not the way other laptops are set up. Some, I guess, have this and some don't. Is it a different size? This thing's not all the way down. That's wow. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I think it should go this way. There we go. All right. And we can pretend to put this back on because I might need to take it off again. I'm not going to put it on super securely. And there, and flip it over. Get the power. Plug it in. And there you have it. That's Windows starting up awfully fast. Um, there are things that they tell you you can do to uh, optimize. Uh, that was that was a pretty fast startup. Looks like we have some issues here. With these icons. Um, there are oh, except they work. Um, oh, I think I uh, never seen anything like that before. Maybe it's just the first startup. Um, and let's see, do something faster because that'll take a long time to run that one. Um, and we'll just run this and see what we get. I'm hoping for something above 200 megabytes a second. Um, you may want to install the manufacturer's uh, dashboard. Whoa, that's amazing. That's the fastest I've seen on any of my computers yet. Um, you might want to install uh, the manufacturer's dashboard um, along with your solid state drive. Wow, that's that's incredible. Um, this is the Samsung uh, Pro 840 solid state drive. Um, those are read write speeds. I don't know why these icons aren't uh, aren't showing up properly. I guess I can always they're. Uh, Okay, so I, I fixed it. What, what I had done was, and there, there's the proof that's a desktop icon without the black square. What I had done um, was uh, remove the little shortcut arrows uh, previously on the hard drive, oh, I don't know, a year ago. Um, and so I had messed with the registry keys. Uh, that, that, for some reason, uh, caused an issue in cloning so that it couldn't create a shortcut the right way. Um, I rebuilt the uh, the um, 
icon cache uh, database, the DB file um, in my uh, local user directory uh, under app data and, and that fixed it. Um, that's just a, a little uh, quick lesson on why it's maybe not always a good idea to mess with your registry keys. But otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I now have a much faster uh, um, hard drive, much faster uh, startup and um, shutdown time on this older PC. You can get more life out of your um, old computers uh, by installing a solid state drive. They'll act just like the new computers and, um, and you can keep them longer. This one was only 70, $79 roughly, uh, but for $100 you could get an even better one. Um, you might want to install the manufacturer's dashboard, but you can already see I was getting uh, very impressive read-write times. And look at that. It restarted off and on in that much time. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.